tonight, we're learning more about the man accused of throwing explosives at San Francisco police officers during a wild chase. KTVU's Christian Captain joins us tonight from the county jail where 42-year-old Daniel Garcia is currently in custody. Christian. Yeah, Mike, tonight we are learning more about Garcia's previous arrests and convictions for explosion charges or explosives charges, as well as hearing from an ex-girlfriend who tells us she warned everyone she could about how dangerous he was and is. After a wild chase through the streets of San Francisco on Sunday, where police say Daniel Garcia threw multiple explosives at pursuing officers, he was finally arrested in Martinez. Garcia is now in custody, awaiting formal charges. An ex-girlfriend now speaking out. I've always thought he could kill someone and possibly me. She doesn't want to use her name or show her face because she says after dating Garcia off and on for seven years, she's worried that he may slip through the cracks yet again. I firmly believe that obviously we have a clear pattern of someone who's extremely dangerous. Federal prosecutors sent Garcia to prison in 2012 following this arrest for a 2011 car bombing. At the time, he was sentenced to 35 years in prison. His ex-girlfriend says he was released in 2019 due to a technicality and returned to work as an electrician in San Francisco and moved to her hometown in the East Bay. She says she learned of Sunday's incident on social media and when the press reached out to her family. She says she hopes this time the justice system gets it right. I really think that in this situation he should never get out and see the light of day ever again. She says Garcia created chaos wherever he went and she says he was prone to violence. Things got very violent. Um, he broke my ankle, he broke my nose. Um, he tied me up one night uh, and left me on the floor um, to go figure out how not to make the same mistake Scott Peterson did and to leave my body in Mexico. The ex-girlfriend says she was finally able to get a restraining order on Garcia, who she warns can be as charming as he is violent. She says she's speaking out now for herself and for the other women Garcia is accused of abusing. Even recently, uh, when I would talk about how I was worried um, and I had fear for my life still, I, I think it, people told me not to be worried and that it was silly. Um, and it's so important that people hear when someone says I'm afraid. Now Garcia could be arraigned on attempted murder, explosive charges and other felonies as soon as tomorrow. We're live in San Francisco, Christian Kafton, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Released on a technicality, and here we are tonight. All right, Christian, thank you.